Hi guys, it's day eight. Um, I think I'm gonna start off these videos with a question. Um, I think that could be super helpful. So my hardest thing is sleep. Um, I didn't, when I was given the gabapetin, um, the doctor told me that it was non-habit, but I'm finding out that other people have a different experience. So what do you guys, what did you guys use for sleep to kind of, sleep <laughs> without without medication or without gabapentin you know over the counter stuff is it eases my mind also what i want to do is a like ask me or um can you do this type of video what also i was trying to find on youtube was um was certain things like how much were you taking what how were you feeling what was the first week like what so what i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ask a question at the beginning of the videos and then um uh go ahead in the comments and put ideas for videos that of questions that you have for me um so like hey can you make a video of what your first week was like and then I'll make a video of that. I think that could be really helpful to the people that are going through it or about to go through it, um, being helped by people who have gone through it. So yeah, that's what I was thinking last night was, hey, give me video ideas of questions you guys have. Because once um, I have to reach, a th I have to reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours which I just started this channel back up, so I have just a very, very, very small amount of watch hours. Um, so it's super helpful if you guys watch the whole video, if you can, super helpful because it'll build my watch hours so that I can, um, uh, and my subscribers, if you could subscribe so that I can go live, would be awesome. So it is 2.22 into the video two minutes and 22 into the video. Um, my symptoms last night were, um, my symptoms last night were dizziness, headache, fatigue, and all around just kind of felt sick. But, um, you know, in life you deal with drama and I'm trying really hard to not have that in my life right now, especially with this, like anything that's creates anxiety, anything that makes me like frustrated, I'm just pushing away right now because I don't want that anxiety to pop up. I've been doing actually really, really well not have the anxiety. And I never had anxiety before I started having kids. Never, never depression, never anxiety, never anything. So, um, so when I had my daughter, I had prepartum or yeah, prepartum. So I had anxiety when I was pregnant with her and, um, I was in and out, like in the hospital getting anxiety medicine. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know it was anxiety. They would give me medicine. It would calm me down. It wasn't until I had, I was pregnant with my son that I figured out that's what it was, was anxiety. Like I, doctors never told me, they never said the word anxiety. And then I had my son. I didn't have any prepartum with him. Everything was after he was born. After he was born, it hit me. Um, anxiety with my daughter, my son, it was mostly anxiety. It wasn't a whole lot of depression, but it was mostly anxiety. And with the surrogate baby, I knew that it took because a day after I started having anxiety. And I told my husband, it took He's like, people are like, how do you know? And then I saw the mother and I'm like, it took. Like, trust me, it took. Because I started having anxiety a day later. And um, with the estrogen, progesterone, um, it made things so bad. It was so bad. And then after, it was really bad. Uh, hence the benzos to sleep after I had him, the surrogate baby. After I had him... Because obviously, I'm not going to take it when I'm pregnant. They wouldn't give it to me when I'm pregnant. But it was, everything was after. Um, so I just I struggled through that pregnancy with no medication. 
um, obviously, because being a surrogate, you have to sign stuff saying that you're not going to do X, Y, Z. So I couldn't do a whole lot. Uh, uh, so for those of you who want to say, want to ask how much I was on, which that's always what I'm curious about is how often were you taking it? How much were you on? Because those are really important factors when you're trying to get off is, is all that. Um, and what I would suggest is going to my first video, which I started filming on the fourth day. Um, and I go into detail, um, how long I was taking it, eight years. Uh, I was up to, from one milligram of clonopin. Um, I tell you how I came down. That's a story. Went to rehab, left cold turkey, uh, all of that. It tells, it says all of that. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, most of the people that are clicking on these videos, I think I said 96% are non-subscribers. Um, if you could hit that, that subscribe button, that would help me out tremendously. Um, once I get to a thousand, I am going to start going live. And I think once or twice a week, I'm going to go live and we can have that conversation and we can just talk about things. And, um, that's kind of my goal because I think that by making these videos, I started doing them to help myself because when I was going through my, uh, postpartum, I started this channel to talk about my postpartum depression. Um, I stopped for a while when I was doing really well. It was like a family channel for a little bit, but then I decided I don't want my kids on YouTube videos. Um, and then now I thought what better way of getting through this was talking to you guys and helping you or you helping me and, and doing that. So, uh, yeah, so my symptoms last night were that this morning it was just, uh, mornings are hard I, just because I'm so groggy because I take, which I'm trying not to take the gabapentin at night, um, but if I need it, I'll take it. I'm just really trying not to. The most I take is two in a night. That's the most. I won't take the three that the doctor told me to take. Um, but I'll take like hydroxyzine um, at like four or five because I feel like ants are running through my body or on my skin. It just, it's not anxiety. It just feels very uncomfortable it feels a little restless so I'll take hydroxyzine and it's just it really just has me just kind of zen uh, the other thing that's really annoying is like this restless leg restless body where like I'll be like falling asleep and just be like uh, or my leg will just like twitch or like I'll just like be twitching it's super super uncomfortable um headache not bad, but headache, and all in all, I don't know if it's the gabapentin, but all in all, not doing too bad. I really want this channel to be positive, but if there are negative things, I'm absolutely going to say them. Um, I'm going to be 100%, you know, I'm going to tell it how it is. But honestly, I want a channel that's not going to scare people because I don't want somebody to watch all these channels and say, you know, I don't want to do that. I just can't do that. I want somebody to go, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll go through it. I'll watch these videos and I'll ask her questions and I'll talk in the comments with other people that have been through it and feel like they have an outlet because, I mean, yeah, ask your doctor ask your doctor, but I feel like doctors that haven't been through it don't understand. They really don't. If you haven't been through it, you don't understand because there are doctors that on two milligrams of Valium, they're like, cut it in half a day later, get off of it. And people who have been there are like, that's crazy. So talk to your doctor. I'm not offering medical advice. I'm just sharing my story. And you know, just, uh, yeah, just leave a, a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't, because um, I'm doing a daily video series of my benzo diazepine withdrawal, 
was on Klonopin, then on Valium. I have been, I have taken Xanax in the past and I have taken Ativan in the past uh, through the hospital when I was dealing with my postpartum. So I've been on all of them. Um, they work wonderful, but they are terrible for your brain because like right now it feels like it's trying to rewire. Sucks. All right, so that's pretty much it for day one. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe, please. Um, once I get to a thousand, we'll start doing lives, guys. All right, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.